What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, it's that time of year again. That's right, it is time to file your taxes. Now, I know you've been avoiding it, but you're going to have to figure it out at some point. So I'm here to show you what I have learned. Now, I am by no means a tax professional and I'm sure there's lots of things that I'm probably missing or avoiding, but I just want to document the process and show you what I'm using and hopefully you will find this helpful. So I'm using Coinly. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now I've seen a couple of other people talk about Coinly and so far I'm pretty impressed. But uh, yeah, first thing you need to do is you need to sign up and I'll just walk you through that process. So once you've given it your email address and a password, you're gonna select what do you want to use Coinly for, either your tax report or portfolio tracking. In this case, we're using it for tax reporting and I'm in the US, so we're gonna hit continue. And right away, it asks you to add your wallets. Now, it's pretty simple if you just select one of the major exchanges and go through the setup auto sync process. But if you don't trust that and you simply want to do it yourself, you can import from a file. So if you go to import from a file, you can drag and drop your files in here. Now, let me give you a couple of examples here. So. On Caspa, with their online wallet, if you select wallet here, then you can select export transactions as a CSV. Once you do that, the download will go into your downloads folder and you can simply open that up. However, by default, some of these data points are not what they're expecting to receive. And for that reason, uh, it is helpful if you use their uh, little help guide here. Uh, you can see how to create a custom CSV file with your data. If you click on that, there is a little video tutorial that you can watch, but essentially what it's gonna do is teach you how to adjust the Excel document so that they can read it. Now you can view a simple template or use a trade template or a universal template. Now, I wish they had one specifically for mining in here, but I don't see one, so I just simply selected the view universal template. Once you do that, it's gonna take you to a web browser version of Excel, and what you wanna do is you want to scroll across the top here and copy all of that and then you're going to paste it into a new Excel document. As you can see, I've already done that and I've already pasted all of my transactions appropriately, but the original file looked something like this. And of course, as you can see, it is not the same as the example that they've provided. So I just simply went through, found the dates that I wanted to copy, right click, copy it. Once you've copied that, then you go back to the newer version and you can paste your dates in here. And then when it comes to the transactions, uh, you just simply go to the amount, scroll down, make sure that you start at the exact same date. You don't want to get that off track. So you'll right click, copy those, then you're going to come back to your new one and you're going to paste in the amount received. And then you can just simply paste CASPA across the received currency. Now, if you have any transaction fees, uh, you can put those in here as well. And if this is for mining specifically, I would recommend that you label it as mining, all lowercase, and of course your transaction hash number. Now, once you've done that, you can save that file and go back to Coinly and you can import that file by selecting here on drag and drop. So we're gonna to go to my downloads folder. We're gonna select those transactions and we're gonna select import. Now, hopefully you won't have any error messages when you import this. However, you are probably going to run into a problem when it tries to read the amount that that coin is worth because that data is not provided 
to you by the Caspel wallet. So, for that reason, we have to go through a few extra steps. Now, this part is quite annoying, but this is the only way that I figured out how to do it. Now, we're going to have to wait on this to update. We can go back to the dashboard here and wait for that information to populate. But once it's there, we're going to go in there and we're going to edit the price of the coin on the date that we received it. And the way that you're going to get that information, there's lots of different ways, but let's say, for example, we'll pull up CoinMarketCap. And we're going to search for Caspa. And you can just simply go to a specific date and time. So let's say, for instance, on October 25th, 2022, I know that the price was 0 0.001646. And I would just simply edit the price in Coinly. And now you have a cost basis for the time that you received it. So when you receive rewards from mining, they are taxed as income that you do not get taxed on them with capital gains until you sell it or you trade it for another currency. So keep that in mind. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting on this, let's go ahead and go back to wallets here. We're going to add another wallet or an exchange. And let's say, for example, with crypto.com, you can do the setup auto sync uh, or you can import from a file. Now, if you want to import from a file from crypto.com let me give you some steps here so step one because you cannot do this on a browser with crypto.com using the app once you launch it this is going to be the page that you see and you're going to want to click down here on accounts so now that you have accounts selected you have this option here for your transaction history once you select transaction history you're going to see a list of every transaction that you've had and if you select this button here, which is the export button, then it's going to pull up a page to ask you to specify your date and your transaction type. So once you select transaction type, you're going to select crypto wallet, and then you're going to change your start date and your end date. And again, you want to make sure that you're doing this for the entire year. So we've gone from January 1st, 2022 to December 31st of 2022 and then we can select export to CSV. Now that's going to ask you at that point how or where you want to export it or what app you want to export it with. I just simply exported it with my email so that I could get to it on my desktop and then download it on my desktop so that I could complete the process in Coinly. So, all right, so looks like our portfolio has been updated we're going to go back to our dashboard page here and we'd like to look at the data that it's imported so we're going to go to transactions and as you can see it says no market price found for caspa on this date now you're going to run into this a lot with some of these newer coins that you've been mining because most of the major exchanges do not have pricing data for them so you're going to have to manually edit these. Now, one thing I want to point out here is notice that it says mining. Coinly knows the difference between mining as well as selling, trading, but you need to make sure that your spreadsheet is edited in such a way that it pulls that data from the spreadsheet. So to edit the price, what we're going to do is we're going to click these three little dots. We're going to go down here to edit and then where it says worth zero dollars we're going to change that and then we would go back and look at what it was worth on that particular date so we're going to go back to caspa and we'll say december 31st of 2022 the price of caspa was worth 0 0.005311 so we go back here 0 0.00 five three one one and then we hit save and there you go now we have a cost basis for this 
And once you're done editing all of these, hopefully you don't have many. By the way, I would suggest that you change your payout from the minimum uh, probably to something to where you only get one transaction per month. And that's going to make this a lot easier for those coins that uh, coin market cap or other larger exchanges have not had data for in the past. And once you're done that, you're going to go to buy tax report. And then you can select if you've got 100 transactions, it's going to cost you 49 bucks, 1000 transactions, 100 bucks, uh, 3000 transactions or more, $179 or 10,000 transactions or more, 279. And then once you pay for it, you can buy that and you can export all of that data and then import it into, let's say, TurboTax or H&R Block, or you can hand it over to your tax professional. But hopefully you guys find this helpful. That's it for this video. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like and hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.